Today we have a short Gelex nail tutorial. This tutorial is also with minimal tools, no e-file, and I'm also doing it with my non-dominant hand. So we're going to start with nail prep and I'm just filing my nails all even. Then I'm going to lightly file the nail surface to roughen up the cuticle for maximum adhesion. After that step, we're gonna go in with some nail dehydrator and some nail primer. We use the nail dehydrator first. The nail dehydrator is going to clean the nail surface and also remove any oils from the nail plate. After applying the nail dehydrator, we give a few seconds to air dry and then we're going to go ahead and apply the nail primer. The nail primer is going to aid in adhesion by creating a layer that's going to bond with our next step, which is adhering the nail tip. And just like with the nail dehydrator, we're going to also let the primer air dry for about 10 to 15 seconds and then move on to the next step. For adhering the nails and having long retention, I like to use base coat and then I'm going to use my Unagella full cover nail tips. When choosing your nail size, make sure you are finding a full cover tip that fits sidewall to sidewall and is not pinching. You will also need your UV lamp, which I just have kind of hanging off to the side. So let's get started on application. You want to be sure to find a full cover tip that fits from sidewall to sidewall that is not having any gaps or that does not um, allow any product to sit on your skin because we don't want to have lifting and we want everything to look seamless. So before adhering the nail, a really good retention tip is to go ahead and take your dehydrator and etch out the inside of the full cover tip before we apply it. This is going to help the full cover tip adhere really well to the base coat. So next we are going to apply the base gel directly onto the nail in a light generous amount. We are going to go in at a 45 degree angle and press down until the nail glue reaches the top of the natural nail. Then cure for 15 seconds. I am working with my non-dominant hand so I did have some overspill. So if this happens with you, it's totally okay. Just grab a clean brush and some alcohol and you can just wipe away any excess gel. So I'm just gonna follow these steps for the rest of my nails. So I am working with my non-dominant hand. So sometimes applying the right amount of pressure was difficult due to my left hand just not having enough strength so on my middle finger i did not have enough pressure and it messed up and everything so i kept it in so you guys could see my mistakes because mistakes happen so i didn't have enough pressure so the nail didn't stick so i just took the nail off and then i put more base gel and then i tried again and then it was a-okay To kind of fix the issue of not having enough pressure, I suggest holding the tip more towards the middle so you have more control. I really do suggest and I find that it helped. So after all of the nails are adhered, we are going to go ahead and fully cure for 60 seconds. And the nail tip application is complete. Yay! They look so good. So the next step will be clipping your nails to your desired length. I am going short for this set. This has become one of my favorite part of doing my nails. It's crazy, but I feel like I say that about five other parts of doing my nails for some reason it's very satisfying for me so the nails are looking really good so far and we're gonna move on to the next step 
which is filing and filing with the non-dominant hand just feels so weird to me it's, it just feels so unnatural but it's okay you just have to figure out how to hold the nail file in the best way for you i also find that flipping my hand over and filing also helps remove the dusties good nail tip and good life tip Y'all, these nails are looking so good and so natural already, but we have a few more tips that can help them look even more seamless. So usually for this step, we will be using the e-file, but we are using no tools for this set. So we're just gonna go in with a regular file, which honestly, I kind of like this better because I feel like you have more control you also don't have to worry about nipping your cuticle or the speed of your e-file just none of those other things so the purpose of this step is to go ahead and seal your cuticle so we're not allowing any bacteria to get in and it also creates a very natural look with this step, we are just taking the file and going around our cuticle area to blend in the full cover tip with our natural nail. Another way to go ahead and blend and seal the cuticle would be to grab a clean brush and also some acetone. You can also use 99% alcohol. Then you would just go ahead and brush back and forth until you blend the full cover tip into your natural nail. I find that this stuff really brings the nails together and just gives that really, really natural look. It also helps get rid of any glue that might have spilled over or any um, small imperfections from adhering the nail. I really hope the camera picks up and shows the difference of using these two steps. So now I'm gonna go in with my hollow glitter color and create a French tip. Don't worry about the ashiness at the bottom of the nail. We will handle that in just a few seconds. I'm only using the brush for this French tip because I want this tutorial to be using the least amount of tools, brushes, items as possible. And since it is a clear color, we can kind of get away with not having the most perfect French tip, but we still will go in and fix any minor imperfections with a brush and alcohol if you do decide to use a white tip pink tip or red tip or black tip you can still use the same steps that I'm using with the brush and just go ahead and clean it up with alcohol and a clean brush to perfect the shape I am using my flashlight to go ahead and lock those French tips in place but if you don't have a flashlight, you can also use your regular lamp and go ahead and put them in for 15 seconds to flash cure. Once all of the nails are complete, go ahead and fully cure for 60 seconds. They look so cute and natural y'all and I love the hollow glitter. The next step is top coat. I tried to give a satisfying top coat moment, but this is my non-dominant hand, so forgive me, y'all. After applying the top coat, go ahead and cure for 90 seconds. And our short gel X nails are complete. They look so good, y'all. Thank you so, so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.